Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll go step by step through setting up and using ActiveTrack 360, as well as looking at various new options with the DJI Fly app to customize the entire focus track experience. Now feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. As a brief overview, ActiveTrack 360 is an enhanced version of DJI's popular follow me mode, ActiveTrack, which of course is part of DJI's default camera view function called Focus Track. Now at the moment, ActiveTrack 360 is only available for the Mini 4 Pro. Now for those new to follow me modes, DJI's suite of Focus Track modes like ActiveTrack in this instance allows their drones to lock onto and follow a recognized subject, such as a vehicle, a boat, or a person. Now, once the subject has been identified, the drone will follow at a certain distance. With the new ActiveTrack 360, the Mini 4 Pro, using the new Omnidirectional Obstacle Avoidance System, can track a subject from any angle around the subject, controlling the drone's position and distance using the touch wheel interface. Now, when using ActiveTrack 360 on vehicles, there is no available distance control within the touch wheel. Only the direction of the Mini 4 Pro can be adjusted in flight. By using the touch wheel interface, you could tell the Mini 4 Pro to perform a specified tracking pattern around the subject. Now, this pattern can be as simple as starting behind the subject, let's say a vehicle, and then slowly moving to the right while filming. Or, if we're filming people, we can perform more complex shots, moving to different positions around the subject, all the while changing distance while filming. What's also new is that with the touch of the wheel interface, we now have a more accurate depiction at a glance of where the Mini 4 Pro is in relation to the track subject. For a few, we're going to talk about how to use ActiveTrack 360. Now, firstly, here's an optional step. If you want to easily target a moving person or vehicle without having to draw a box around them, you have to enable subject scanning first. Now, with subject scanning enabled, all available on-screen subjects will have a plus over or next to them, allowing you to quickly tap the plus and track them. To enable subject scanning, go to the menu, then to the control tab. You should see the subject scanning option near the top. Enable subject scanning with the slider to the right. To use the ActiveTrack 360, hover the Mini 4 Pro at a minimum height of about six and a half feet from the ground. Now at this required height, the subject should be in a good position for tracking. Now just draw a square around the person or vehicle you want to set as a target. As you select the target, there'll be three focus track options that appear on the lower side of the screen. There's Active Track, Spotlight, and POI or Point of Interest. The default mode will always be Spotlight, so press Active Track. When the green Go button appears, press the Go button and the Mini 4 Pro enters Active Track mode. Now, here's something to note. Regardless of the position of the Mini 4 Pro, after it analyzes the surroundings, it will then fly to the rear view to start tracking. Now, you'll notice that there are Trace Mode and Parallel Mode. Well, Trace Mode is the default tracking mode in which the 360 function is housed. And like with previous DJI drones, Trace Mode is the main tracking mode where the Mini 4 Pro follows the subject from behind, front, left or right, or even the top. See, with the addition of the 360 touch wheel, all the angles imaginable can be achieved with the swipe of a finger. Now, the parallel mode. This is where the Mini 4 Pro follow the object or person from the side. But in all honesty, parallel mode is a bit redundant. Why? Well, because if you think of it, when in trace mode using the control wheel, you can specify that you'd like to track the subject from either side, parallel. 
it'd be interesting to see if DJI eventually removes the parallel choice option altogether. Now we'll look a little bit into using the 360 touch wheel interface. Now, once the subject has been locked in active track, the touch wheel interface appears on screen. The type of subject you can acquire determines the type of uh, control wheel available. If you're tracking a vehicle, the touch wheel will only have directional tracking options available, these being a specified distance from the vehicle. To change the Mini 4 position for tracking using the touch wheel, slide your finger from the image of the Mini 4 Pro in its current position to where you'd like to track your subject from. Now if you're tracking a person, you have the entire touch wheel available. This wheel has the Mini 4 Pro positioning as well as distance options. To change the Mini 4 Pro position and distance for tracking using the touch wheel, slide your finger from the image of the Mini 4 Pro in its current position to where you'd like to track from and also the desired distance. As mentioned earlier, in addition to active track, there are two additional modes that enable you to get creative video, these being Spotlight and POI or Point of Interest. Now, Spotlight allows you to select a subject, whether this is a person, a vehicle, or a watercraft, or an object, and let's say in this instance, a home, for real estate purposes. Now, the Mini 4 Pro will attempt to keep the subject in the middle of the frame while you proceed to fly. This enables you to focus solely on flying as you ensure the height, distance, and direction are correct. The Mini 4 Pro will handle the yaw, camera, and gimbal tilt. When in point of interest mode, after selecting your tracking subject, the Mini 4 Pro will circle it, keeping the subject in the center of the frame. POI is basically an automated orbit of something you'd like to showcase. What is nice about this mode is that once your point of interest is chosen, you can specify the speed and the direction using the on-screen slider. Now with the new Active Track 360 comes a host of new focus track settings that can be adjusted to customize the tracking experience to your liking. To access the focus track settings, go into the main menu and then the control tab. Under the control tab, select focus track settings. Now once in the focus track settings, you'll be able to adjust the following areas for either subject type, person or vehicle. You have the outer radius, which works for the person and the vehicle. And here you use the slider to set the max distance of the Mini 4 Pro from the subject. Then we have the inner radius, and this particularly applies to a person as a subject. Now using the slider, you can set the max distance of the Mini 4 Pro from the subject. Inner height. A smaller value represents a lower height of the Mini 4 Pro above the subject, and then outer height is a higher value which represents a greater height of the Mini 4 Pro above its subject. There's camera motion, normal or fast. Now, in normal mode, this will cause the Mini 4 Pro to bypass obstacles with a smoother motion. Fast will cause the Mini 4 Pro to bypass objects more aggressively, which could cause the camera to jerk around a little bit. Then, last but not least, there's near ground flight. And when enabled, the Mini 4 Pro can descend lower than the 6 feet needed for focus track operations. This option also increases the chance of near ground collisions, so it should be used cautiously. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.